everyone, Steve from Open Bomb. In this video of the, the January 2020 release, I'd like to show you what the behavior between bombs and catalogs traded with SOLIDWORKS, how, they, how it might differ. So in, in the first video, we created this bill of material. I've taken the liberty of updating the part number fields to the actual numbers just for the purposes of this demonstration. I did that by changing the value of the, uh, of the part number inside SOLIDWORKS. So let me just show you quickly how I did that. For each configuration, there's a set of properties, and I went ahead and said use this specific value for part number, and I did that for each one of the parts in my in my assembly. There's a number of different ways you can do that, and we can spend more time on that in another video. But so here I have a um, I, here I have the uh, butterfly assembly, and I'm going to create a catalog with this. There no catalog exists. I happen to have a bill of material that we created in the earlier video, but I see that there's no catalog. So Without setting any templates or doing any configuration, the January 2020 release just builds a catalog that you expect. So I click the Create Catalog button. Let's go ahead and open that catalog. This is going to have each part, its, its part number, and here we can see that with the part numbers from the upper level assembly that I've defined as numbers. The other part numbers are coming from the default SOLIDWORKS behavior of file name. And like I said, you can control those. And I've also, we're also bringing in all the other uh, meaningful properties from SOLIDWORKS. And of course, I know that you all remember this from earlier videos, but this is a great place to add something like cost and, um, and start managing the cost of individual items in your, in your catalog. And for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm just gonna set everything here to be a dollar. Okay, so I have a, uh, I have a catalog defined. I'm going to return to the bill of material that we just had, and we now and we know that this bill of material currently is not referencing anything from the catalog, specifically because these I, these items here, their property names don't have parentheses around them. I also don't see cost. So this is a good time to connect that uh, that catalog that we just created to this bill of material. I'm going to do that by choosing it from the list. We know that we almost always say yes to this. That's going to replace those properties in the bill of material with those from the catalog. Terrific. And we now have a bill of material that comes with part number and quantity from the design and all the other information, including cost, is now driven by the, uh, driven by the catalog. Let me see if that runs out here. So what's important to note is that in your early, earlier versions of OpenBOM, you may have seen this part to catalog link set to something other than part number, maybe file name. Um, this is sort of the under the hood update that we're doing in this release to change that. The relationship between catalogs and bombs will always be through part number. You should never really have to even mess with that setting unless, like I said, unless you really know exactly what you're doing. So when you, uh, when you go ahead and attach a catalog to a bomb, just go ahead and choose the, uh, choose the catalog and assign it to the bill of material. So I hope that was helpful. Um, we of course love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thanks.